clockwork for NIP for their offlane. I think uh, they just want, they have heroes that want to fight in the mid game really, really hard. Um, so we'll see. I, I think they have kind of the tools to kite Sven though. Like, Jug can ulti him. If you get some trap creeps on Chen, he can keep him in place even through a BKB. Clockwork can keep him in place through cogs and pushing him out. Um, so yeah, Nip has a, has, a, has a much more standard lineup. Maybe Vega go aggro and put like Night Stalker solo against Clock. I'm not sure. Well, that they could need to be do something. Way. I really Sven as a hero as a carry to me is good in like two situations: a pub games and b when you have an IO. And they have neither. This is not a pub game, so I, I again I shouldn't speak too quickly because let's be honest: how many of us have watched Sven games in the recent weeks? I don't I don't know the last time this hero was picked. To be honest with you, maybe yeah. in some tournament that I haven't seen, but. This is just one of those years where you, you might see a Reddit thread for it, which is like, that's how uncommon it is at this point. Like, well, Sven's picked up in NIP versus Vega game number two. Everyone's like, <laughs> oh, Sven, the bodybuilder. I think what most teams would do, like when Jug is off the board, when Troll is banned, when Sniper's banned, it just picks the next thing, which is Slark in this meta. All right. It's like if this is banned, if X is banned, go to Y. If Y is banned, go to Z. Like, that's what it's like in 6.83 right now. So that's when we see a hero like Sven, it, you, you think that they have a plan in mind. Which I, I really think they might go aggro and just put Night Stalker solo against Clock. Because why, why farm Sven, free farm, when you can like free farm a PA or yeah. free farm a Slark? It just doesn't... Now, that doesn't mean that Sven can't be really strong with items. He definitely can. But I just think they have the ability to kite him on Nip I really, and control him in fights, even through BKB, which is mm -hmm. why... I think that they need to do something else with him. As far as item builds go, I think that I really do feel like Blink Sven is the way to go. I think that it's w really. Strong. I was gonna mention that. I was gonna yeah. say that you took it away from me. Trout. I believe you. I believe you. <laughs> Just, do you need a blink this game? Absolutely need a blink. Um, I agree with you on the aggro statement because the last game it didn't work out for Vega, like shutting down the era juggernaut because Jonas was able to get free form in the jungle. That's not really the case for NIP. You could argue that Chen's getting free farm, but he'll only have like a mech, and that's great. But like, no blink call. Clockwork's not going to be able to go to the jungle and get free farm, so it doesn't really matter. Like, he only really wants levels. That's not the case for an axe. So I think they could put a lot of pressure on Era early on in this game. And I don't know, man. I, I just think it's really ballsy to be able to go for that hero. This is an elimination game. We're not talking about, you know, there's another game they could have to play. that They aren't in the winner's bracket. That This is all or nothing right now for Vega. So either they're pulling something out of their hat or they're just saying, well, let's try it and see how it goes. But uh, I want to point out that if NIP do win this game, they'll be facing up against a lines when all, I guess it's just a 95% Swedish affair, 90% Swedish affair as Matt is not Swedish, but uh, that would be an interesting matchup. However, Vega are looking to at least take this to a, a third game and they, they've got a lot of tools to do so. It's just a weird situation. It's a weird draft. Although I will say no one's Zeus is impeccable. It's it's pretty much up there, but it's not the easiest matchup going up against Limp with the Queen of Pain either. It's going to be a little bit more difficult maybe than he was expecting. Yeah, Quap is just a, a beast in the mid lane. She's really, really good. Her auto attack damage is amazing. Her shadow strike makes it easy to not only harass, but stay in a position to get last hits too. So, Five members of no or sorry, of Vega... Roman down here to maybe place some wards and block out some camps here for Chen and give him a little bit of a harder time. He hasn't bought a whole lot yet. They put this down on Seal Kit. I don't think they can... Well, they're going really aggro in here. Um, he bought some wards and courier. He's waiting on, I think, sentries, perhaps. As Look at Witch Doctor's items. Not only did he go for an old talisman, but he had even some pool tangos <laughs> coming his way as well. And I feel like the only team that does this, they get the null tally on the Witch Doctor. It's so much base damage. It's actually ridiculous. Sven Strat 6.83, Vega are 4-0 and with Sven this patch. They've run it twice in the solo offlane, they, but they've also done the aggro try. Ooh, uh, looks like Ampos just got cogged out and lost a lot of mana there. Yeah, no more sun for you. And he doesn't get the bounty rune either, but no one will get the bounty bottom. And I think he's getting close to bottle. Yeah, he is, so it's not bad for no one, but... Nine posh solo safe or no? It looks like they're going to do offlane mag earth shaker for the time being. I don't know what they're doing. They're just kind of roaming around mid. They void up Jonas. Oh my god, he solo almost... to the high ground. <sighs> solo would have been... So sad. But he does stay up there. And it's actually going to be a farming... Uh, 
safe lane Sven. We talked about it. You know, it's not a support. He's not off lane. This is going to be a farming Sven and a off lane Earthshaker, which again we've seen in NEL. But this is going to be interesting. They they really could have shut down Air, I think, and they're just not going for it. They want Mag to get farm, but we'll see how things turn out, man. Yeah, unfortunately, Limp is doing a good job about boxing no one out right now, but the creeps are pushing, and he's missed actually quite a bit of CS on his own. So if the Zeus can get all, yeah, if the Zeus can get all these CS here, then it won't be a big problem. Yeah, he mi yeah he's missed quite a bit actually. I, he is doing some good zoning, but uh, we'll see how that in, uh, unfolds. But I have to say that the things that Jonas did in that top rune, as far as almost God cliffing solo, ooh, they, they're putting some aggression onto uh, the clock right now. Jonas is in a heck of a amount of trouble. Those cogs are not the cogs you're looking for, Jonas. This might be first blood. They need one more right click. He solves up. They need void. It's in one second. He's going to use it. Almost fogs Solo. That would have been huge, but Solo does pick up the first blood. That's big. That's a big kill. At least they, they take down the offlane clockwork, and not bad. Not a bad start for Vega. No one going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Limp. No one getting plenty of sits. You talked about him getting all of those creeps. He got about 90% of them. He missed one, I think. One of those creeps in that creep wave. It was very impressive to watch. Goes for the treads, mom, blink. Okay, I like that. That's if you don't go standard. blink, I think you, regardless, have to go mom, BKB. You, you just have to. I've tried other things. We're going like, you know, armlet and helmet with the dominators, just stacking. It just doesn't work. It, I don't think it works in this patch anymore. Anyway, I, I was going to say that it's really important that they got that kill on Clockwork because he did a good job about delaying them to even get to the lane. Like, it took him a long time to get that to that safe lane. As a right. result, Sven, I think, is behind on CS just a little bit compared to, uh, well, it's actually pretty close to the Jug. He's 13 for Jug, 11 for the Sven. But this is going to favor Nip in the long run because they have a jungler farming and Vega don't. So Vega have to get kills. They threw down an Observer Ward here, which I think blocked this camp. I'm not sure. Didn't block this one. So it doesn't block this one. No, so not the Magic Bush one. Not quite anyway, but it should block this camp, I believe. Anyways, like you said, it should be you. You have the you have the jungler, whereas you don't have that on this side of Vega. Um, no one actually had to go home because he couldn't get a rune, and he has to just TP back into the lane. So yeah. that's really bad. I was just gonna say this. I don't think this this ward doesn't block anything. <laughs> it, it just doesn't. it's just a vision ward. I, I don't know if they wanted just a vision ward, but I don't I don't know the point of that is when you can just maybe put a little bit over here to block this camp. That seems like a very interesting ward to me. If they were going to be aggro, that that ward is fine. You could just you see the Chen jungling, you sure. run at him, but that's well, not the case. Even then, like, why not just place it a little bit further so you can also block the camp? Maybe maybe they want to have vision, but they w don't want them to know that they have vision. <laughs> you know, yeah, it's the mind game aspect. Who, who the hell knows, really? Mag maybe feels a bit more safe with this, but Hanskin does smoke up. I don't know if they saw him smoke. I don't think they did. He's got to rotate yeah. mid, although. No one doesn't see him currently in the jungle, not that he's got too much vision. This would be a big kill. No one's going to try to go for the top rune spot again, and Jonas, as always... But look at this, they're rotating so many heroes, and Jonas is like, I want to cog this so badly. How much do you want to cog this solo? They're going to jump in, scream at pain, Jonas getting low. Almost pushed no one up onto the high ground again. Limp actually going toe-to-toe -to -toe with no one. That is a big kill. One for one trade. Getting the kill on no one is not worth it. That illusion would come out the screw of pain. That damage was ridiculous. Bottom lane, they're looking for Mag. I don't know. They might find him. They have cast. Oh. Seal Kid gets juked hardcore. Mag is like, I don't know where to go. He's got Fisher. He might have to use it. Cast will go. It's not really going to do that much damage. It's more about the Maledict. Oh, there's the Blade Fury, though. They waited until Mag turned, and Mag is now going to fall to the Maledict. Yeah, that's going to be an easy kill. He was nice fine. Start. He was fine. He could have just kept running up, but yeah. he... He, like, walked backwards to get level 3. I think he, he juked wanted, himself. I think he wanted the experience and got a little bit too greedy and paid for it. But th those cogs up top, did you see that? It cogged, yeah. uh, forced, like, three people. He might as well just do the Grand Grant build where he maxes cogs because he's hitting so many of them. I like how we're calling that the Grand Grant build now. I just... He's coined it, man. Uh, sure. Sure. All right. Well, yeah, that's the Grand Grant, I guess, for coining the cog build. <laughs> that skin is going to run in. Meanwhile, Lip's getting run on. Rather than running on no one. There's the ensnare coming out. They have Sonic Wave. I don't they're not gonna need to use it. Test of Faith comes out and they're really shutting the Zeus down. That's his second death. Can't get runes. He's oh top lane. Jonas some fan is in some trouble. He's about to fall and will in fact with a nice void and the use of the storm hammer. This is the first storm hammer I think we've seen all game. So nice kill. Yeah, the God, the AA buff damage with the only level one chilling touch is pretty real. 
helps out the. I mean, he's already attacking fast on the Night Stalker, even with one level of Hunter of the Night. That's a st that's a jump from zero to 20% movement speed, 45 attack speed. So it's it's amazing, even at level one. And you you put some you slap some extra damage on that, despite the fact that it lowers your attack speed just a little bit. It actually, only lowers it by 20, but he gets an extra 45. So he still has an extra 25 on top of it all. He's got some attack speed to work with. And uh, the right click early on from a Night Stalker might not seem like the most potent thing, but still pretty it's good. good. Still it's pretty good. 74. Yeah. What? How much does the Witch Doctor have? Only 60. He's only got 70, which, I mean, I guess isn't that surprising. Yeah, he has the Null Tally. That's why I think it's kind of interesting. I thought he would have more uh, right click damage, but all right. I'm trying to get some vision. They'll throw down an Observer Ward here. They really are going to try to keep no one safe. No one's died twice. He's started to get out CS, and it's kind of unexpected. We talked about how Queen of Pain is a beast in this middle lane, and they've amplified that by sending the Chen in multiple occasions. Meanwhile, bottom lane, a push is coming. Inevitably, here comes the train of the Chen creeps. Oh, this clock. He's dead. Wow, nice kill coming out. Hand of God used it as well. It was too late to the party. I don't know why he though. ran up like that. I, he just wanted to kind of wrap around. But he's walking into not too much vision. He has that ward. They have that ward there where Seal Kid's near. But ran right into some heroes. So I think they should get this. To look at the push. Oh, this, this tower is ridiculous. The freaking Dark Troll Summoner just goes to work. Pops up the skeletons. They, he raises the roof. They have a party. They even have the State of Torments to throw up the Shockwave. They even could use the Albert Smash or Thunderclap, which is more important to try to get hero kills. But... Tier 2 is now getting assaulted as well, and you have to wonder how much punishment are they willing to take? Are they going to be able to defend this? A glyph comes out yet again. It has and... to be Zeus. Zeus has to be the one to defend these, but he and doesn't have not. too much mana, and he doesn't have a TP. So this is going to be a Tier 2 tower gone at the 7.5 minute mark. And Lip was getting chased down. They had the silence, but it was oh, pretty apparent what they were trying to do. A Sonic oh. Wave, no one is going to survive. Top lane, meanwhile, Jonas is about to fall again. Seaman the Slayer gets the cold feet. And it gets the proc, and then the right click comes out. Obviously, a, a, ra a range group gets the kill. Meanwhile, Silence on the left is at enough damage. They need something, but here comes Era. Omni Slash is available. He's going to use it. Solo getting low. Zeus Ult coming out. Gets the kill on the limb. Solo might be able to turn in Void here. Will he survive? Oh, the cast comes in. Lightning Bolt. The Arc Lightning Era has to back away. Just gets enough mana to Blade Fury if necessary. Looks like no one will try to chase a little bit, but not going too far. Weird fight. That was a misplay by Limp. When he went in there, he got a very easy kill onto the Zeus, but he blinked in and, like, totally hesitated. And, like, couldn't decide, uh, should I ult first or should I scream? Uh, I don't know what to do. And he just waited so long that the Zeus just ran away. And, yes, he hit the, the ulti from Quab, but he wasn't in range at all for his, uh, his follow-up spell, the Scream of Pain. So, kind of a misplay there from Limp. Nine Posh goes for the Midas. Also goes for four points at a Stormhammer, th four points at a Warcry. He really doesn't want his ultimate yet, apparently. And so no cleave, no god strength. Interesting build. There's so many Sven build builds that honestly I don't know, but it. I think it's fine actually, because the fact that he's getting cogged so much, he's losing so much mana. He just doesn't have the mana pool to support a couple storm hammers and a god strength. When you're probably not going to get that many auto attacks off anyway, so I don't think it's that bad. He is farming very well though. He's only one CS behind Arrow and a couple CS behind Limp. Limp is doing a great job, though. Despite that one death, he's he's having a good time. Again, though, I still point the, I still put forth the idea that like, if you want to get a free farming hero up here in the safe lane that's not going to come into fights, why not have like a PA or something, or a really really hard hitting? I mean, I guess Sven is a very really hard hitting carry when you think about it. But he just gets the problem with Sven is he gets kited too easily, even when he has a BKB. That that's the problem. When you think about PA, for example, I know I keep touching on PA, but there's certainly others, like Void or what have you. But they can jump around with their own innate abilities. Sven you have to rely on a blink if you're gonna get it, but even then we'll see. We'll see if this farm can match the farm of what Jug can do. Ice Blast going in. Nah, it's not going to hit. they will miss. They popped the Warcry as well for that, and now he's out of mana. He did have Treads. I think he Tread swapped for it. He should have, at least. And nothing really coming of it. You're right. You really need that Blink Dagger on Sven. You do not have the, the Phantom Strike. You do not have the Time Walk. I mean, there's so many other heroes with abilities. Ain't to be age, obviously, with the Blink of his own. You, you just don't have that. Sven is... 
The biggest thing for Sven is the ability to pop out massive amounts of damage early on in the game with God's Strength, and then being able to cleave on top of that with Great Cleave. But he's just not here, there. He's going super far mode. He's going pretty much, I, I'd say, late game, if you can call it that. But Well, the, the weird thing is that his item build is not... It, it's... Um... Not congruent with his like his skill build, because item build you have Midas Quelling Blade, which says I want to farm, farm, farm. Why would you buy a Quelling Blade at 11 minutes if you're not planning on farming more? The Zeus call right. ult comes out. They know that they're roasting. TP coming in from Night Stalker, but he has no ult, and it's not nighttime. I don't think they can. Oh, actually, they're it's all. It's gonna be close. In. This is gonna. They need to run it, and they need to run it now if they're gonna try to contest this. Arrow's about to pick it up, and it looks like they just Too they late. won't be able to get in there. And Silk with the Voodoo Restoration. Fisher comes out, hook shot in from Jonas. He's kind of alone. Actually, they separate solo. They get the death ward down, and that is a dead solo. It does a lot of damage to Jonas, but nice hook shot coming in from the clockwork. They take the Aegis and Roche as well. And they were all coming with the exception of Nine Posh. Meanwhile, they did get the kill on the Queen of Pain somewhere. I'm not sure how that happened. Zeus ult came through, must have been low enough. Ice blast in the arrow. That's that's not gonna feel great. No one. Ooh, Blade Fury just in time. Could have used the Aegis there, but. Wasn't enough. Top lane, they're gonna get the kill on the Sven. They jump in, Limp comes through, gets the Sonic Wave, and the Aegis goes down as well. It looks like no one does pick it up, finally. Action all over the map. Yeah, I just don't think the Sven's gonna do anything this game. The, um, the trap creep onto mid. The Tons of damage because he has oh. the wolf, too. Oh my god, the double Dark Troll Summoner from Hanskin. You're netted up forever. It's the end of that bondage life. Dear the lord. <laughs> That bondage life, though. You know what? Oh my god, I can't believe I'm admitting to this, but I uh, I saw Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh, I, that's I, I thought we were gonna get somewhere real bad, but oh. that's, that's not that's not that bad. How was it, man? It was awful. Yeah, I, that's it's what so I thought. So bad. I, was I, I wasn't really like, watching. Actually, my girlfriend was watching. I was just like kind of looking over at her, like seeing her watching it. To see the reaction of her, it's like. Uh, yeah, he's <laughs> Myron. <laughs> All right. Well, if you're if you are a, a guy going to see Fifty Shades of Grey, I do feel for you. I really, truly do. But well, sometimes you have to bite the bullet. Anyways, seven to seven is the score in terms of net worth. There is a very, very, very big discrepancy. NIP have a almost seventy five hundred net worth lead and an experience lead of five thousand. Yo, use your Midas. Nine Posh, nine posh, man. Your Midas has been off cooldown for like a good 10 seconds. This is a problem. He's I'm running all the way it. over to the jungle. Oh, Grand God. Grant would be displeased. If uh -huh. you ever play NEL or with Grand Grant observing, he will let you know that your Midas has been on cooldown for quite some time. It, I'm, it actually, I lose it. I lose it when I see this. There we go. All right, good stuff. It was on a range group, though. Top lane, Zeus salt, Jonas silenced up. No, nice kill from Solo. A solo kill, if you will. Jump in, and Limp probably gets this. No Mystic Flare. Now they're gonna chop the urn. Limp's Jeez. actually in trouble. The cast flying through. Solo in trouble. The Death Ward is it gonna be enough. He sticks up. The last hit. The last hit of the Death Ward from Seal Kid gets the kill. Oh man, it's a lot closer than it should have been. Yeah. Anyway, I, I I hate to keep going back to the Sven build and what what's going on with him, but I just don't. Like I was saying, his item build is not congruent with his skill build. Where his skill build, he maxes the war cry. The only time you want to do it is like you're fighting, right? Because yeah. the buff, the only buffs you get for it is a lower cooldown, which is great. Oh, hold that thought. They might have put some damage on Nine Posh. There's the cast. There's the maledict to the pushback push. of the cogs. He's trying to do something. He's getting kited around. He's dead. Yeah, Fisher's gonna come out, and he just can't survive through all that damage. They put a lot on him, and had their team been there a bit early, maybe that changes. Sonic Wave, Mag not dead though. Hand of God, Silence comes out from Solo, doing a lot of damage. They're gonna dive Mag though, Air coming in. Omni Slash onto Solo, that's level two, secures the kill. They're diving deep. Fisher comes out, Mag is out of mana. He can't TP away. Shadow Strike, they get three kills. It's just there, it feels as if Vega are kind of floundering. They, they don't really, they're not playing together. And now the five man from NIP, too strong to deal with. And they'll take down the tier one tower. The snowball meta coming through and NIP will be able to take the tier one as well as get a couple of kills in the process. I think the most telling problem of the spend build was when they wanted to go for Roche because he was farming up top with like limited mana resources and he didn't have any fighting items. He had a Midas and a Quelling Blade. And he and you could tell that there was miscommunication because they were like, Zeus sold, oh, let's go fight this. But I think Sven was right in saying, 
Uh, I'm just presuming. No, we can't fight that. I don't have fighting items, and we're in no position to fight a Chen with an ult uh, Chen with the hand of God. Hanskin is gonna be in trouble. Zeus ult next a bit too late. Not that it would have mattered because he had the debuff from the ancient apparition. Nice turn around. They get two. Good and Sarah on the solo. Could have chased uh, Eric down. Fisher comes out. Echo slam on the creeps. Did you hear? He did it. Like I said, he said Echo slam. So. Oh really? Oh. At the... <laughs> I pointed this out the other day, and I, I think it's one I of the remember, I remember. I just wasn't paying attention to it. Anyway, the Midas is coming up for AA, which is... He's actually 3-0-5, so that's really good for him. The Midas is uh, great against uh, Zeus creeps... Er, Zeus, yeah, Zeus oh. creeps. Uh, that, that big army that Zeus could acquire. <laughs> that Helm of the Dominator <laughs> that he's going to get later on in the game. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I get jittery sometimes when I drink this coffee. Yeah, but does uh, I'm surprised Zeus didn't get a minus two. We see a lot of. I think no one likes to go the minus build too. It's really good against the uh, the Chen creeps. Sure. I mean, I, I I think it's probably fine in this situation with with the way the game is going too. But but of, of course they have a minus on Sven, so and he is going to go. I I would presume uh, Mask of Madness again. The uh, trough. Wait, Zeus has never purchased. A, oh yeah. You wait, man. I'll, I'll play a support Zeus in my next match, and I'll get it just to, to in spite of you. Hey man, that's uh -huh. a playoff. That's a playoff deciding match you're playing tonight. Yeah, I know. I'll do it anyway. All right. Well, okay. I'll hold you to that. I'm gonna point <laughs> that out in the cast, and then I'm gonna flame you if you don't. Okay. Uh, no one does pick up the point booster. Aghanim Scepter coming out. Light mail done for Jonas. That's nice, but. Yeah, that mom's still not done yet for Nine Posh, which is really... He's had that morbid mask forever. Buy your mom, dude. The problem I see with this, though, is, like, yeah, you do have to go mom, but he has to get the BKB, too, because he's going to take way too much damage um, from the from the mom debuff. Or buff, I should say. He's just going to take too... Like, they have Sonic Wave, and even with the BKB, of course, Sonic Wave will go through that. So, yeah. I don't know, man. Limp Party is an Orchid in an Ogre Club. He's so farmed. He's the most farmed in the game. And then there's the SMY done for the Juggernaut as well. So, like, the items are coming up way faster than they are on the side of Vega. NIP are just... They're getting so much more. And that's... I think a lot of that has to do with the towers, the team fight, the Roche as well. I mean, it's just... NIP, because they have this Chen, they're able to fight early. And Vega were not ready for... They were not prepared to fight that early on. Uh, no one's probably dead unless he, like, forces out. Uh, Omni Slot. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Well, that's unfortunate. He, he had a good idea. Right but... here. If he had forced here, maybe he lives, but... Maybe, yeah. Nine Posh in trouble. No BKB, obviously. Oh, he's just dead. That's it. He's just dead. That's all I can say about that. As an Orchid. Maledict. I think Death Ward was expended. Sonic Wave was used. Pure Destruction. And even if he gets the BKB, you still have problems. This is what I was alluding to earlier. Like, there are still plenty of ways to either deal with him with this lineup or kite him. They don't even need to kite him because they can kill him with Death Ward and Sonic Wave. Or just <laughs> even the Omni Slash from Juggernaut. I'm sorry to just keep pounding this in, but I just don't think this Fen pickup was, was good at all, quite frankly. I'm going to turn to the Earthshaker and say, well, what has he done in the offlane? He is getting close to his point dagger. Maybe that'll be something, but... That could turn the tides, but he needs levels too. So he's going to need level 11. Um, it's obviously amazing if, this, if those Chen creeps are kind of all stacked up. But I, Hanskin's a really good Chen player, and I suspect he'll be ready for that. As soon as he knows there's a blink, which who knows, that might not be on the cards. He's got to know Max is getting close. They're giving him a lot of farm. They're prioritizing his farm heavily. Nine Posh is saving a lot of gold. Um, so he's not going to go for the mom. He just gets a casual morbid mask like you would on a troll. The unfortunate thing is that doesn't really help you. You don't really need that. It's actually a blink. He wants the blink instead of getting a BKB. He wants that instead of the, the mom. So, all right, I guess. I feel like this should have happened at 10 minutes, though, instead of the Midas. If, that's, if this is what, like, he's just like, oh, man, I have to get a blink. And I think he does. I agree with him. But I think it might be a little... A, a bit too late? I'm not not quite sure. We'll see. What, what's the graph look like here? It's, it's not oh great. Oh, God. It's past 10K. It is not great. That's uh, it's a lot of that's a lot of money going the way of NIP. 
and will continue to do so unless Vega can find some amazing fights. And there is a think... BKB on Queen of Pain now too. Oy. I think if you're Vega, you have to just defend high ground. Wait for your blink on Earthshaker, which is coming up soon. Perhaps if you can draw it out long enough, wait for an Ags on AA. That'll be huge. Ags AA plus Ags Zeus and spamming from Earthshaker pl plus a potential ulti. That's really good. You don't even need the Sven. And maybe that was their their idea altogether. It was like, we'll get our core items on our heroes. Sven can just farm and then we can defend high ground and Sven will, um, you know, kill him with a one-hit cleave or something. I don't think they could give away this much, though. This bunch of a lead, which they have done. Roche is being taken by NIP. They probably know. Yeah, they definitely know. Are they really going to be able to contest it? The answer is no, probably not. Jonas is going to walk right into no one. No one has to force away. Hookshot actually misses. Void, silence. Here comes Lemp, gets a sonic wave. We'll see you later, Sven. Mag's probably in trouble too. He just bought his blank, so he won't be able to buy back if he dies, which he will. And Lemp gets a double kill. That BKB providing very useful. And then, of course, Roche was taken in the meantime with Era and Hanska. They didn't even rotate over. They didn't even need to use Hand of God or Mech or anything. They just take Roche and then back up. Ridiculous. Yeah, it's just, it's really hard to fight into Nip's lineup, especially in Roshan. Despite the fact that Clockwork had a horrible start this game, they just have a, a very well-balanced lineup. Everything about it. Amazing mid laner, your quintessential ca melee carry in the jug, a great uh, laning partner to help him out. You get the Chen, which is, which most top teams will say overpowered right now. Um, and then they have initiation too. So they got initiation, carry, laning phase. They get the kill on limp, which is great. They, they, need, they needed that desperately. That gives them some room to work with. They won't be able to defend this tier 2 tower, but God, does that help them. They needed something, anything. The momentum.